Alluvium is not the best game in existence, but over the next 12 months, it will become unrecognizable from where it is today. Alluvium has designed and built three individual games and an album collector in just over 3.5 years, which anyone with a brain would know is unheard of. Three incredibly amazing perfect games, not necessarily, but three games with high development ceilings nonetheless. However, even after launch, their journey has only just begun. But thankfully, we have more to look forward to than we ever have before. By the end of this video, you will know what is coming, when it is coming, and, what, and at what point Alluvium will start to genuinely attempt mass adoption for the Web3 and crypto gaming spaces. Now, before I proceed, please don't forget to add my referral Scoriox into your profile settings on the Alluvidex. I really appreciate it. That is S-C-O-R-I-O-X, Scoriox. Thank you so much. So, Alluvium just released their main cohort of games, including the Alluvium Overworld game, three game modes for the Alluvium Arena, the mobile city builder game Alluvium Zero, and the next wave of Alluvium Beyond is to come soon, being wave three, of course. Now, the first thing we're going to take a look at here is the unique owners of Alluvium. Currently, we can see it is at about 16,000 unique owners of Alluvium, which is a good estimate for people that have played the game and passed the tutorial. We don't know how many of those are active players. I will do that research soon, but for now, this is the main thing we will look at. Although this is somewhat low compared to the expectations of the community as of right now, Alluvium is missing quite a few things that it desperately needs. Gauntlet, which is the TF game similar to TFT in the Alluvium universe, is accessible, but has no bearing on the airdrop or very little. It has no ranked mode and doesn't incorporate alluvials or ownership in any capacity. The overworld, although sticky and fun for a very specific audience, isn't engaging enough for a wide range of units, users, something, some people that want more action and that sort of stuff. We also don't know how many users Alluvium Zero has, but it has the most attention across YouTube and Twitter, showing that its player base is actually highly active, even amongst some of the free-to-play players in Alluvium Zero. But most importantly, even though you can capture these alluvials, you can't really do anything with them yet, which is a fundamental problem that Alluvium needs to solve over the next 12 months. Thankfully, we know that they're well on their way. So as we can see from the roadmap here, there's quite a few things that are happening and going to happen in Alluvium in the near future. We can see two major entries here. There is a new Alluvium game IIP intended to be designed in Q3 of 2024. And we can also see that Alluvium Arena for mobile should hopefully be coming in 2025. Now I know the team is actively working on this, they were talking to lots of third-party studios about how long it would take to port over the game and all the rest of it. But I know that the team, I, I, it's my understanding that the team is actually going to start working on this very, very soon themselves, potentially, because they found that it would just be faster to do it that way. I don't know how long it's going to take them, but this would be a huge, huge win for Alluvium and the Alluvium ecosystem as a whole. As for the new Alluvium game IIP, that would also help resolve some of the issue with Alluvials not necessarily having a use case yet in the Alluvium world. Not only are they need to be used for cosmetics and things in Gauntlet or the ranked mode in the Ascendant Arena, but they will also be used in all future games. So the fact that the next game will start to be developed soon and hopefully be developed over the next six to 12 months, which gives a really good standing for future uses for Alluvium and also new audiences that Alluvium can attract. So this is very important and very exciting for Alluvium as a whole. The other document we've got here is the future development and research document that Kieran posted a little while ago. So for the Alluvium arena here, we can see that we can expect several additions, new features such as the Ranger joining the board in Gauntlet and the new weapon overhaul and stuff getting a bit more fleshed out for all of the game modes. The other thing is a ranked mode for Gauntlet and a Leviathan mode for Gauntlet will go a long way in promoting alluvial utility, especially if you add things like ranked leaderboards and stuff like that, which we know the team is actively working on now. So Gauntlet, Arena, and things like that are all being overhauled and reworked now to become just better games. I don't know how else to describe it, but they're going to improve so that more people want to come in, play, and try them. 
The other really exciting thing from all this is the entire bottom half of the Alluvium overworld is what really changes Alluvium and makes it stand out from the rest of crypto gaming. So down the top bottom left here, we have the new regions. There are four new regions to come. I believe two of them are actually quite close. We have the region unlock mechanism, which we've already seen in fact, in, we've already seen that happen. We also have faction influence. Factions aren't really getting used in the game right now, but as they add some of these other features, I expect factions to play a really big part and help immerse people more into the story and the world of Alluvium. We also have character customization and probably more options for that. Progression changes are really big because I believe Alluvium really needs some more key RPG elements. Right now you play the game and basically everything from your character is transferable via NFT or anything like that. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's really hard to get attached to playing and progressing through the game when there isn't really progression. Technically you can buy everything off the market to be a fully progressed person without having to actually play the game at all. And I think once this is remedied a bit, it will really help with people wanting to actually play and explore the game for themselves. The other thing is updated crafting systems. I'm looking forward to them. New NPC interactions and these final two are key. Raid battles and multiplayer. Right now, Alluvium desperately needs both of these. Uh, multiplayer co-op and social elements are one thing, but multiplayer and things like raid battles are a completely different story. Going into a battle with your friends, trying to capture something interesting and unique or powerful, I don't know how to describe it, trying to capture that thing with a bunch of other players would be a really exciting gaming moment. And it's these sorts of gaming moments that actually draw people to game, okay? It doesn't matter what the game is, it's these sorts of gaming moments that draw people to them. Pal World would not have been nearly as fun if you couldn't play with your friends on a world. The same goes for Helldivers 2. Imagine if it was just one person going in there shooting up a bunch of aliens. Four players going in there is a completely different story. In the end, this image I created showcases the logical next step for Alluvium, and that is this. Players battling each other in the overworld with their alluvials by their side, going at it. I don't know what the objective is. I don't know what they win if they win this battle. I don't know if they get better loot or if they risk losing their alluvials or if alluvials can die. I don't know what the end result here is. All I know is if you show this to someone that hasn't seen alluvium before, it's a completely different story than if you showed them the current alluvium game. When you are out in the world exploring with friends or even fighting against those friends, using your alluvials in the world, it fixes every single problem I described earlier in this video. Why should you buy a Relentless Floral Links like in this picture or capture a Ramfire? Because when you come across another player and their dual left starts gunning you down from a distance, you need something to defend yourself. What's better than an alluvial or a long ranged weapon? Two things that are coming soon to alluvium. Please don't forget to use my referral code Scoriox and subscribe for more Alluvium content like this one. And also, if you haven't already, make sure to check out how this leak changed my entire perspective on Alluvium, where I break this concept down in even more detail.